So starting with the posture and allowing yourself uh, really a couple of minutes if you need, if you need it to find the posture that works. Um, feel free to adjust. Coming to a posture where the, uh, the back is erect and where the body feels at ease. And then very gently before moving to the sensations of the breath at the nostrils or at the belly, bring your attention to, uh, to the body, starting with the, the feet, with the base of the posture. And very gently allow your attention to move through the body, pausing in every location where you feel a strong sensation. Pausing long enough with each sensation in the body to experience its impermanence, to experience how the sensation is changing. Or if that's not clear to you, then pausing long enough to have a genuine sense of familiarity with the sensation. And then moving on to the next one. And so noticing sensations as you move through the body, sensations of movement, noticing how sensations might feel cool or warm, noticing how a sensation might feel uh, soft or hard, and noticing how a sensation might be just a point in space or might occupy a large area of the body. So noticing particularly the sensations of what it feels like to sit on the chair. Moving slowly up the body. Pausing at the area of the shoulders and the neck where frequently we carry much of the tension of the day. And just noticing there what the sensations are. It's all right if you uh, can let go of any stress that's in the, in the neck or in the shoulders, but the practice is really just to observe what it actually feels like. To become curious about it. Noticing how things change and becoming uh, f very familiar with what doesn't change. So when you have an experience or a sense of how sitting here is just this jumble of sensations that is arising and passing away moment by moment, and you feel at ease in your posture, then very gently let the mind shift its focus to the breath itself, wherever it is that you've chosen to follow the breath, whether it's at the belly or at the nostrils, or for some of you, it may be uh, the chest area or the throat or the whole breath. But our focus primarily will be on the belly and the nostrils. So coming to the breath there, at first just observing the twofold nature of breathing, just how um, breathing has this uh, quality of uh, breathing in and then breathing out, or uh, the experience of the belly expanding and then contracting. And so allowing your awareness 
to just very gently rest on this twofold movement of breath. really relax into the rhythm of breathing. And if at this point in the meditation you feel any doubt about your capacity to be with the breath, if you feel any uh, urge to control the breath, to make it clearer or louder or more rhythmical, it's good to remind ourselves that the practice here is not at all to control the breath, but simply to observe what is there. Even if it's just a whisper of a sensation and to become genuinely curious as to what that whisper of a sensation really feels like. And so when you have that sense of, of ease um, with the, the breath itself, with this twofold movement of breathing, then very gently allow your attention to move uh, closer in so that you're observing the breath moment by moment, observing even the beginnings and endings of moments, and particularly the beginnings and endings of the breath. So for instance, if you're following the breath at the nostrils, notice where the first sensation of breathing arises. Does it arise for you outside the nostrils entirely on the upper lip or on, just on the outer edge of the nostrils? And what is the sensation? Is it a light, is it a light sensation of movement, a tickling sensation? Uh, is there a, a temperature shift? What, what is the experience of the breath then moving through the nostrils? Do you have that experience? Or perhaps the experience is just of the breath making contact with the inner wall of the nostril. What is that experience like for you? Is there a sense of breath moving? Do you experience uh, vibrations? Does the breath feel cool or does it feel warm? Does the breath have a shape that is felt, not merely imagined, but really sensed by you? Is it just a series of points in space? Does it feel soft or does it feel harsh? Is there a clear uh, shape to it? And what happens as the in-breath begins to uh, die down? Uh, is there a slowing of sensation? Can you experience the final moments of the in-breath? Are they clear to you? Or do they run together? Are they uh, continuous in some way with the first moments of the out-breath? Then becoming curious what the out-breath is like. How do you know that the out-breath has begun? What is the sensation that tells you that? How is the out-breath different from the in-breath? For instance, is it warmer than the in-breath? Is it softer? Does it uh, move through the nostril in a different way?
what about its shape? Is it different? And then uh, finally, really observing the final moments of the outbreath to see if you can see them as individual moments. If you're following the breath at the belly, it's a similar process at first of just resting in how the breath uh, causes the belly to expand and then contract. And then looking closer at what are the uh, first sensations, for instance, of the in-breath. What's the very first sensation of breath itself? Do you experience a sudden movement in the belly? Do you experience a location deep inside the belly or closer to the surface of the skin? Um, does the location feel like just a point or does it feel like a line? Or is it a, a flat space? Or does it have three dimensions to it? Does the belly have a temperature? as the breath unfolds? Do you experience the movement of the breath at the belly as being something that's continuous? Or does it have stages to it? Or, or is it chaotic in how it unfolds? And again, as the in-breath approaches its end, what is that like? Does the breath get more intense? Does the body get more tight or does it loosen up? Can you experience the final moments of the in-breath as individual moments or do they really run together with the first moments of the out-breath? And then observing what, what is happening as the outbreath begins? How do you know that the outbreath has begun? And becoming curious again, okay, what's the difference between the outbreath and the in-breath? Following the outbreath then, through all of its sensations of movement, of shape, of softness or hardness, of temperature, right to the last few moments of the outbreath, seeing if you can see them clearly. And whenever thoughts arise, just very gently letting them go and returning to the breath. So it's, it's a very gentle movement, uh, but no nonsense. When you notice that you're thinking, coming back directly to the breath, not pursuing the thought a moment further no matter how alluring or how annoying. But coming back directly to the breath without judgment. 